Peggy 18. Coming up, the Spike Video Game Awards are a couple days away and we need your help to win. Plus we head back to Edmonton to see what other details and upgrades to look for in Mass Effect 3. Next on Bioware Pulse. You're locked into Bioware Pulse, I'm Christine Steimer. The Spike VGAs are just two days away and we need your help, so let's fire up the headlines. Annual Spike Video Game Awards are airing live this Saturday night, and one category is decided by your votes. Mass Effect 3 is nominated for Most Anticipated Game, but in order for it to win, we need a little assistance. To help us win, head over to MassEffect.com right now and cast your vote for Mass Effect 3. We're also nominated for a couple other awards, including Dragon Age 2 for Best RPG of the Year, and Mass Effect 2 Arrival for Best DLC. Be sure to tune in to Spike TV this Saturday night to see if Hawk and Commander Shepard can take home some awards. Last week we took you up to Edmonton to learn some new combat tactics to survive against the Reapers in Mass Effect 3. Today we're heading back up north with combat designer Corey Gasper and gameplay designer Eric Fania. This time we'll learn how some of the new gameplay animations are being developed and how they can help you in the heat of battle in Mass Effect 3. It's time for Insider. So in Mass Effect 3, Shepard's a lot more dynamic. As you can see here, Eric's beginning to move around the battlefield using some of the advanced combat techniques. He can roll out of cover, he can 90 degree cover turn, you can move elegantly around the battlefield. The other cool thing that we've been working on is Shepard will actually animate looking around the corner saying, hey, I can run here if you want me to. If a bullet whizzes, he's gonna duck down and cover saying, hey, I'm in danger. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. We'll be walking you guys through how we hooked up the Omni Blade in code. If, for example, we wanted to hook up a sound or a VFX as soon as the animation comes back like that, we can using the timeline system. It allows us to timestamp at certain points in the animation, certain effects, certain sounds. All our heavy melees include a new synchronization system that we have where Shepard will automatically sync to the enemy so that everything lines up properly and then we can play whatever reaction we want to. So this is a heavy impact so we would play a really heavy reaction stumble backwards for the enemy. As you can see here Eric is able to hit all these enemies pretty much every time because Shepard will turn and sync to the target which makes the heavy melees a lot more reliable. The heavy melee move itself has certain animation, certain effects and then the way it ties it to a progression system is that you have these passive powers, just like you did on Mass Effect 2, we're going to add some more in Mass Effect 3. And one of them increases your melee damage, the force, the reaction level of the enemy, and so it's a way of improving your, your heavy melee ability throughout the course of the game. So one of the things we really wanted to improve in Mass Effect 3 was the reactivity of the enemies, so how they react to all your attacks, their animated reactions when you hit them from the side, from the front, so that you can feel like everything you do to the enemies is really causing a realistic impact on them. So if you hit them from the sides, they'll stumble to the sides. If you hit them in the back, they'll stumble forward. So this works with all our melees, all our weapons, and all our powers. So that was your walkthrough of gameplay design. My name is Eric Fania. I'm Corey Gasper. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks again, guys. Be sure to look out for all those nuances when you and your squad mates need a hand. As always, stay tuned to Bioware TV for more exclusive insider features. For Bioware Pulse, I'm Christine Steimer, reminding you to keep your fingers on the pulse. <laughs>